Hi, Zach here. Today we are going to continue with our W3 Schools series. Um, it's still about responsive uh, website, but this time we are going to do it with Flexbox. And Flexbox is the most popular way to create a responsive layout nowadays. So um, every front-end developer should know how to do it and it's quite simple if you are not familiar with flexbox um, i've included the tutorial by w3 schools here and this is the tutorial and then today we are looking at this example from w3 schools here we are you can see the breakpoint is set to 700 px so on the top right corner you can see um, the um, width of the website now and then when it's lower than 600 they all the columns stack together so that's a responsive website okay and it takes three steps to create a responsive layout. First, you need to set the container, the display property in the container to be uh, flex. And then you need to make it wrap. And second, you need to um, set the flex basis of each flex item in the container to a percentage. And lastly, um, we need to change the flex direct direction of the container in the media query. Here is the uh, example in by on W3 schools. We can see row is the container and display is set to flex. We can take a look in the example here. Mm -hmm row is the container it is the display property is set to flex and then the flex wrap property is set to wrap so and then the ms um, parts is for uh, ie 10 you can just ignore it and there are two uh, columns in the container the first one is the sign and the other one is the main um, flex is the shorthand for several um, flex um, setting for um, each flex at, uh, item you can find it here in the tutorial of the on w3 schools and then uh, it's here yep so it has three options um, the first one is grow and then it's showing the last one is basis so the first two are indices so they are usually uh, small numbers and the last one is the basis of the the size of the flex item so it, you can see it's set to 200 px here and in this example we use percentage so the size is set to 30 percent and then the main is set to 70 percent and the rest of the setting um are just um, the design of the of the items so and then move to the media query the breakpoint is set to 700 so use max width so when um, when the screen size is smaller, the width of the screen is smaller than 700 px, um, we apply the following style. So we set the flex direction of the row to column. That's how you achieve a responsive design. And just like the in the previous video we can make a little bit improvement to make it mobile first which means 
we start from the smallest size, which is the mobile version, and move up to the desktop version. So we start with the uh, smaller one, the one which each colon takes up the whole width of the uh, screen size. So here we set the display of the container to be flex. It's the same as before. And then we set the flex direction to colon. The default is row. So now we set it to colon. So they will stack together uh, one after another. And for the flex items, we we set only the we only set the um, basic style for the padding and the background colors. And the key points is in the media query. We change mass width to min width, and the breakpoint is set to seven hundred. So when it's uh, the screen size is larger than 700 px we apply the following style so firstly we set the flex direction of the container to be row so they are lying uh, in a row one after another and we change the um, flex basis of the container of the items flex items set the size side to be 30 percent and then the main to be 70 percent and you will see the same result as the previous um, example on um, w3 schools if you need a code you can find it on the on our github repository so that's all for today thanks for watching I'll see you next time. Bye.